In the sign up for the closed beta, you ask how many hours a week do you usually play? How does it affect your decision? I don't Okay, so if the if the number is too high, I'm gonna send you a first aid kit as well as key. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that actually has too much of an impact really on our decision. I think it's more just like us trying to like sort of gauge uh, who you are as a person when you play our game. So we, when we pick people, we pick from a broad spectrum. Because um, like if we only pick play new players, then we won't be able to, to, to get feedback on like the, the end game content that we made, you know, and vice versa. If you only pick like someone who's only playing end game content, we might miss out on some early game content that we, that's new. Um, and I think, I don't know, that, that like question was kind of late to, to the whole uh, form. Uh, mm. And it wasn't added by me, so I actually don't know what the full intention was behind it. But I think it's just mainly like just to get a grasp of who people are, and like you know. So it's not like oh, if I put in like I play Satisfactory for 120 hours each week, uh, that doesn't mean that you're more eligible to be picked. Uh, it just means like okay, this is a person that plays the game a lot, so they're gonna mm -hmm. have probably gonna have this type of feedback, and they're probably this type of player. And if it's someone like I only play like an hour or so. Uh, then we're like, okay, that's interesting. That's a different type of player. So like, that's probably this type of player. And then we have our, you know, preconceived conceptions of, of who our player base is, etc. Mm -hmm. So that's mainly what those questions are about. It's not like we're looking for something specifically. And there is no correct answer. 